So the practice started about 20 years ago with Den Leonard and Charlie Lambert joining from a local practice. So they were still starting, just the two of them with one administrator. Since then now we've developed that we've probably got through the group about 35 vets and then we probably have about another 50 administrators or vet techs on farm. It was becoming increasingly difficult for people to get money to buy into the business. As owners wanted to leave, it was hard for us to get new people to join in financially and this seemed the most viable way to maintain LLM as it is now and was, uh, but go forward for the success of the business. In terms of the new grads that we take on, we have an internship programme that we run for them, which means that they don't do any out of hours. We're not looking to them to be fee earners. Um, they also do tutorial sessions that we expect them to do with our vets um, to learn stuff, sick cow work or any sort of tra uh, topics. They should speak to one of our vets and they'll do a tutorial with them. They have a higher CPD days um, and they're very much, they go out with our experienced vets all the time. As they go through their internship then, they'll start to go on ahead of them a little bit, or they'll do some reports for farms and they'll, they'll start to gently get into things. But some come here with very good PD skills quickly, some are very good at surgery. So it's adapting to how each of those interns is um, progressing and which areas they want to see more of. It's a real partnership. The vets get the support from the clients when they go there and the clients get the support with the vets. And the vets know what is going on with their business. You know, they help them plan financially, you know, in terms of what they can invest in things. So it's quite a, it's a very close relationship. We have a thriving in practice group here at the place. We also have a couple of mental health first aiders that, that will work here as well. We, um, we know it's a problem, I know, with, you know, it's well publicised within the veterinary industry, they have the highest suicide rate, but it isn't just the veterinary staff, it's the whole team. But we have a lot of um, social stuff going on here. We, um, we go to the pub on a Friday afternoon for five o'clock club. We've got a, a local a WhatsApp group where people arrange walks, people go to the cinema, they arrange nights to comedy, we've got a cricket team. You know, so there's loads of different things that we all do together and um, have a lot of fun with. We had our 20 year do in the, par in the paddock here, so we had a couple of marquees up, band, beer, food, about 200 people there, staff and clients. So we, we've introduced different services like the vet tech so that vets can get on with doing a lot of more of what they can do in the higher probably level of um, planning and consultancy and uh, preventative care so that some of the other tasks other people can do that and then the, the clients are getting the, the real value from our vets um, and they will help train up um, their staff on farm as well so that they can be more self-sufficient so I think there's things that we can be doing um, to earn money elsewhere other than just fees to, um, to clients in the obvious way of sort of emergency work. And each vet has to flex that with each farm as well because you've got some very big units where they may have a herd manager and uh, they've got a, a very different setup than if you went to a, a smaller farm where you know it's family run, they don't have anybody else working there. Um, it's, a, it's a very different setup and how you talk to these people and how much intervention they want um, and how pushy they would like the vet to be and proactive. They've got to tailor it to that client. So some clients just want people, to, vets just to turn up and get on with the job. Others really want you to be doing an awful lot of work, a lot of reports, a lot of analysis. And so each vet uh, will tailor that. I think we have an ethos here, a culture of work hard, play hard. Um, we do all have fun. We have, there's a lot of banter here still, and um, there's a lot of things probably that we're doing that probably people would say isn't very PC, but we're all, we, are, we do have fun, we have a laugh. And, um, and we do that with clients as well. So we're, we're socialising without having a laugh. We have Christmas client drinks coming up, which will be a lot of fun. Um, and we'll run all of those uh, that people will just rock up at pubs and have a few drinks with us. So we do, we do have a lot of fun.